Currently, we store uploaded files like receipts locally. Ideally, such files would be stored on a remote file storage like S3. We're going to use DigitalOcean Spaces for this lesson, but you're free to use any other remote file storage solution. Note that this is not a requirement for this project at all, it's just an extra something that I promised I would make a video on. DigitalOcean Spaces API is S3 compatible, which means that we could use the S3 client and AWS adapter from the Fly System library that we currently use. So within the Fly System documentation, if we scroll down, we see that there is AWS S3 adapter that is officially supported. So if we click on that, we just need to follow the instructions to get it installed. And then here is some simple usage that we can copy and paste. So first, let's copy this code here. Let's open the IDE. Let's open the terminal. We'll paste in the command here. Then let's open our container bindings because that's where we have the entry for the file system class right here. And we have this uh, match expression where we get the proper adapter and we pass that to the file system object. As you can see, we're currently only supporting the local file system adapter. So we just need to add another entry here to support DigitalOcean. So let's go to this enum class. We'll add another case here called remote do for digital ocean. Then in here, we'll do storage driver remote do. And we need to instantiate the proper adapter for the AWS S3. If we go back to the documentation, we see that this is the adapter basically that we need to instantiate. And this adapter class expects the client as the first argument. So that means that we need to initialize the client as well. So basically we can copy this code, go back here, and we can't really paste all of that in here. So what we'll do is that we'll paste it here instead. And then we could pass the adapter variable in here. The problem with that would be that we would be instantiating the client and adapter regardless if the storage driver was set to remote DO or not. Even if it was set to local, we would still be instantiating it. So instead, what I want to do is that we can put this within a closure and then call that closure here, which would basically return the adapter class for us. We'll put this code within that closure and we'll simply return this adapter this way. Then in here, we can simply call that closure DigitalOcean this way. And uh, we can actually pass the uh, options argument in here this way and then accept it in here. Now you can check the documentation for all the possible options and stuff. But basically what we need here is something like credentials. And that's the S3 credentials. So we need the key and we'll get that from the options. So we'll do options key and then we need secret. So we'll grab that from the options secret. And the reason I'm not passing the options directly in here is because I don't want to have all that structure defined within the options that we pass. We might pass some extra things like bucket name, for example. I don't want the bucket name to be hard coded here. Instead, we'll get that from the options array. Now in here, we also need the region. So we'll set that to options region. Then we need version and we need endpoint. Now we do need to pass in these options or the config from here. So we need to somehow grab these uh, configuration options. We can get that from our config class here and store those options within our app.php config file. So we'll do something like config get storage.s3. Now let's open our app.php and add that s3 section in here so we'll do s3 and again we need basically the key secret region version and endpoint and also bucket so as you can see we're getting these variables from the environment file all right so i think this looks pretty good now we do need to set up the digital ocean space and get the proper values to actually fill these in in our environment uh, file so let's head over to DigitalOcean. I already have an account uh, set up with them and I'm logged in. So if you don't have an account with them, you can create a new account. And note that this is not a sponsored video. It's just something that I use. You could use any other S3 compatible API and it would still work or use another uh, storage system and try to find the proper adapter if the fly system supports it. If not, you can even write your own adapter if you wanted to. All right, so once logged in, we can go to spaces in here. We're going to create a new space bucket. 
we'll keep the default data center selected. Let's scroll down. We'll enter the bucket name. We can call this XPennies receipts. Then we'll keep this uh, project selected. Let's create the space bucket. Once the bucket is created, then we can generate the API key so that we can connect to this bucket and actually upload the files. So for that, we can go back to the spaces object storage and click on the API page right here. And within here, we can generate a new access key for the spaces. We can call this expenies. Let's generate. We'll copy the key and that's the key basically. And this is the secret. So let's go back to our code. We'll open our env file. So we'll add s3 key equals this and s3 secret this. Then we also need the region version endpoint and bucket so let's add these in here the region is nyc3 we'll set the version to latest the endpoint is basically the region and the domain name so if we go back to our spaces we see this url right here so it's basically nyc3.digitaloceanspaces.com so this is our endpoint so let's copy that we'll put it in here https and paste that in and then the bucket was expenies receipts all right so now that we have all the configuration in here uh, let's go to app.php and switch the driver from local to remote digital ocean and let's try the file uploads now so we need to open our categories page and in here we'll try to upload a receipt pdf document click upload and seems like it didn't work maybe i have some kind of typo let's go back in here let's check container bindings credentials key secret oh this is supposed to be region not regions there's a typo let's try it again so we'll open the model click upload and sure enough the file was uploaded if we try to open it we see that it works as expected let's check the digital ocean and as you can see within our bucket we see the receipts directory because that's where we are uploading the receipts to if we open that we have that file right here now if we try to delete it and check digital ocean we see that the file has been deleted all right, so as you can see, our file uploads work as expected, and instead of storing them locally, they're stored remotely on a DigitalOcean S3 bucket. So this is it for this video. I know it was a short one, but just wanted to make sure that I covered this because I promised earlier on. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Until next time, happy coding.